Okay, first off, completely assemble your lower feed works. Uh, new bearings, you can use the same outer support. on the feed works. Yeah. And what you'll do is after you have all of your old stuff removed, the old bracket, this one here, you would take and tighten down on the support, the bearing support. Tighten that down to where this piece here is touching the inside of the post inside here. Okay, let me get a different shot from this side just to Okay, so where it's oops, maybe over here. Yeah. Okay, to where it's just touching. Okay, where it's just touching there. Snug all that down, and then just tack weld the inside in here on okay. the post. All right, Which, and then mm -hmm. back over here. Before you tack weld this onto the post, you want to make sure that this support bracket here is parallel with the case so straight across with the carriage yes the carriage sorry yeah. Yeah, misspoke okay. <laughs> after that's tacked into place don't fully weld it just make sure that your lower feed works and everything moves freely mm -hmm. and it's not bound up mm. after that what you would do is you would take this short piece here bring it in just to this side of the slot mm -hmm. and See if I can hold it in here. And you can see it. <laughs> but what you would do is you would tack this into place. Okay. Tack it onto the the bracket and then also over here onto the post. On the carriage post, okay. Double check, make sure everything moves freely again. Yeah. And then you can fully weld these pieces in. That's good. That will get rid of the need for the long shaft on your mm -hmm. lower feed works. That's good. And you're also saying that you don't have to take your engine off. You don't have to take the carriage off the track. You can do it all with it on. Yes. You just got to be a little flexible. Remove the main guard, remove